All right, so most people want to know the painting process. And as far as custom colonial paintings process, we go a little bit overboard with the prep work, but my theory has always been, why put really expensive 75, 80, 90, $100 gallon paint on a house that you're at the mercy of what's on it 20, 30, 100, 200 years ago? So our process always starts with power washing the entire house, pump spraying some exterior bleach. It's perfectly safe for the grass, the flowers, the animals, everything. We pump spray the bleach on the house, let it sit five minutes or so, then we power wash everything off. You get the dirt from the street, the salt water from the ocean, the mildew, the algae, everything. Then we take our gigantic blue tarps that can cover boats, cover all the plants, the grass, everything, the kids' play area. If we're doing some heavy scraping, we'll actually tack it to the house so that nothing falls behind next to your foundation into that dirt. We don't just hand scrape like most companies do. That will not get most of the paint off the house. It just gets the superficial stuff that comes off with your fingernail. We prefer to use our sanding machines that really force the paint off the house, as you can see here, leaving the house extremely smooth as a result. This gives you an idea of a house that was pretty much 50 to 60 percent peeling after a good sanding. A little more sanding on this house. Okay, so now it's time to paint the house. So if it's a stained house, stains a little bit more watery than a latex paint. So when it comes to the windows, if we're spraying your house, rolling, brushing, any kind of application process, I'm always going to tape up the windows just so if someone's above it on a ladder, you're not going to get your screen stripped on. A lot of times they'll show up to jobs, their black screens will have red stain all over them or white paint all over them. So not, it doesn't matter if I'm, like I said, spraying, brushing, rolling, I tape everything off. Everything is taped off, bushes, doors, the roof, everything. I'm very meticulous when it comes to protecting things that do not need paint to be on them. And like I said, I not only spray, brush, roll, it depends on the house. It's kind of a case by case basis. But if I do spray, I always back brush, which means you go up with the spray gun in one hand, you spray the wall, and then two seconds later you brush it in. It's just a more efficient way that I've, I've been using. You put a little bit more product in the house, and you're still working in the brush. So technically it's brushing, but I just don't want people to get scared from the spraying process. It's just sometimes more efficient. But sometimes a house like behind me, I wouldn't spray. I would just straight up brush it. It's just quicker that way. But um, it's just I'm just telling you I can do pretty much any kind of process that the job requires. Okay, now that the house has one coat, two coats, depending on what the job um, required, it's time for the cleanup. The cleanup is just remove all the plastic, remove all the tape, remove all the tarps, just put everything back, numbers on the house, furniture back on the deck, any paint chips left on the ground, once again we'll vacuum up. Um, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, just leave the house in better condition than we showed up in and that's pretty much our painting process.